What's up guys, Idewise Help here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what could be the most important jailbreak tool, Cydia Eraser. Now this application is from the developer of Cydia, the creator of Cydia, Jay Freeman Zurich. This will allow you to restore your device, unjailbreak it, to the same software that you're running. And why is that important? Well, once Apple stops signing iOS 9.3.2 and 9.3.3, if you try to restore your device with iTunes, you won't be able to restore to a jailbreakable firmware. Apple will not let you do that in the future, and that may be the case by the time you watch this video. So this will allow you to unjailbreak your device with no computer directly on your device, and also keep the firmware. So at this point, iOS 9.3.3 is running on this device, and that's a jailbreakable firmware. So this is going to allow me to wipe out my jailbreak if I have any issues and re-jailbreak my device, everything done directly on device. So once you get to Cydia, all you have to do is search for it on the search tab. No sources need to be added. All you have to do is click on the top modify and click install. Once you install it, you're going to have the application on your springboard. Go ahead and launch it. Here you'll get some information on what you have to do before you proceed. At this point, you want to make sure that you've connected your device to the computer to back everything up. Pictures, videos, anything important you want to save before you do this on your device. If you have any important information on your device that you want to keep, then all you have to do is erase all jailbreak data. Erase all, and that's all you have to do. This is going to go through the unjailbreaking process of your device. Right there, as you can see, the text scrolling through the bottom. This could take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how many tweaks you have installed. So just give it some time and let Cydia Eraser do its thing. All right, so here is the first respring. Just be patient, guys. Let it do its thing. All right, so it looks like my device is rebooting at this point. This is first, it went into the Apple logo. Now it looks like it's rebooting again. The whole process right now is taking about five minutes. Okay, now we have this progress bar going down the middle, and it's going to respring one more time. All right, so it looks like it's done. All we have to do now is go ahead and start our devices like we usually do for our setup. Let me go ahead and set mine up. All right, so I'm done going through the entire setup process just like you would when you first open up an iPhone out of the box or when you first restore your device to a fresh version of iOS. You have to go through that initial process, entering your Apple ID, setting up your Touch ID, your passcode, all that stuff. Once you do that, go ahead and enter your device's passcode and just get started. And there we go. We just restored, we removed the jailbreak completely from this device, and most importantly, we kept our firmware. If we take a look here, we're running iOS 9.3.3, and now we can re-jailbreak our devices if we wish to do so. Now, I want to ask you guys to share this video, if you can, so everybody can get this information on time before Apple stops signing jailbreakable firmwares, so everyone that's having problems can restore their devices to a fresh version of iOS, and then attempt to re-jailbreak their devices and continue enjoying the perks of jailbreaking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.